In our tumultuous, sometimes unpredictable world, it's hard not to think almost constantly about change, with climate change standing out as a force that will shift the world around us in myriad ways. Change of any kind is, truthfully, scary. It dislodges us from a reality we've spent our whole lives constructing. Our environment, by contrast, anchors us. From that tree in your backyard to a favorite mountain-crested skyline, we depend on our physical surroundings to root us to what's real. Similarly, wildlife and plants depend on reliable relationships with their physical surroundings in order to survive and adapt. So change can be daunting, but what if we could better understand, concretely, what environmental change looks like, both now and in the future? What if we could determine what these changes mean for how we live together and with our environment? In an ecological context, these kinds of changes are best characterized as disturbances, meaning any event that leads to changes in an ecosystem. An example that probably resonates with many right now is wildfire, like the 2015 soda fire in my slide, which burned a sagebrush area five times the size of Boise on the Idaho-Oregon border. My research looks at what happens when these sagebrush ecosystems, which cover an enormous amount of the American West, experience increasingly common disturbances like fire over time. More specifically, I'm asking, how do wildfires, human land use, and interactions among different vegetation types affect the distribution of plant species across the Great Basin, an area that stretches from the Sierra Nevada to the Rockies? And more pressing, how might these distributions change in the future, given the rapid acceleration and expansion of various disturbances? Using models that depend on fire history and climate change projections, my research will address key knowledge gaps about how sagebrush systems function in the Great Basin. We understand that sagebrush faces grave threats from invasive species, expanding woodlands, wildfires, climate change, and human impacts on the land. What we don't understand, however, is exactly how all of these disturbances interact with one another, nor what this means for the social environmental future of the American West. Why does this matter? Predicting the outcomes of complex disturbance and species interactions is critical for conservation and natural resource management, since overlapping disturbances may alter the fundamental layout and function of the Great Basin ecosystems. If this happens, it will require people, plants, and wildlife alike to reimagine their relationships with the landscapes they depend on and call home. It will also substantially affect the way that we think about conservation. Where do we conserve land? Why? And for whom? And if we know how disturbances will change our environment, we might be better prepared to respond and to make these changes to the places we love feel just a little less daunting. Thank you.